What's up, Cowboy Nation and Cowboy Headquarters? It's your boy, G, the number one Cowboy fan. Happy coming to you live, direct, and correct. Giving you some news that you can use. So you know all the reason I'm on here is to give you something that, hey, we can talk about on Monday morning. Hey, don't get fooled by the time I do go to church. But I was just so excited to get with y'all today about this draft on yesterday, the last three days, that I wanted to share that with you because before, uh, uh, you know, we get more information from some some old haters out there. They don't give us your false information, but I'm going to give you something that uh, uh, is, is actual factual. You understand me? But anyway, yeah, I went to church today, man. Got me a little church town, but you know. I get a little dapper when I would need to, you understand? But anyway, but once again, I want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to this channel, that has liked the channel, and that has commented on the, uh, on the channel. So, hey, once again, we're still babies at this, but we're actually growing. So I need you guys to continue to hit that like button, man, and continue to share these videos because we are true diehard cowboy fans. And we do nothing but talk cowboy talk. Like I said once before in the introduction, we talk about the coach, we talk about the player, we talk about the draft, we talk about the OTA, we talk about the training camp, we talk about all the things that has to do with the cowboys. So what we do, we represent the star, and that's what we're doing. So anyway, I'm not going to be here before you long. I just want to do a little rundown on the little uh, draft that we had over the last three days. I don't know how y'all felt about the draft. Y'all let me know in comments how y'all felt about, about the uh, the draft. I mean, y'all let me know. Let's talk about this, man. Y'all, I mean, some of y'all, y'all do comment. Some of y'all uh, uh, just, I guess, just want to hear what I have to say. But, man, I'm telling you, I value everything you guys have to say as well. So, man, you know, y'all y'all, y'all share your opinions and your thoughts with me, man. So we can, you know, try to get ready to make this uh, run. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, here we are. Uh, we done got through the draft, and the life football is on horizon. We do stop doing all that scratching. Well, we still scratching, having them withdrawals, but it's coming a lot faster than uh, we expect. So that's a good thing. Uh, but uh, like I say, uh, also, let me share this with you guys, man. Let me go over these names real quick. And uh, I'm uh, going to give you some names, but I want y'all to go to our Facebook page. It's called the Information Booth. Okay, the Information Booth. Okay, I, what we're doing on there, man, I've been posting a lot of the videos of each individual uh, that we have drafted. So go to Facebook forward slash the Information Booth. You'll see a, a, a profile pic of uh, uh, the Wolf Hunter and the Predator. Okay, so that, that's that's uh, Van Der Esch and uh, 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 Jalen Smith on there. So I mean, you see that, that you're on the right page, man. And, and like that page as well, because I'm coming at you both ways, man. Because a lot of the videos on here, you know, they don't like for you to post official videos and things like that. But unless I'm just not doing something right or whatever, but I've been kind of get these warnings or whatever. But Anyway, we go go to Facebook, man, and uh, check out some of those videos. Cause I'm, I'm posting videos about each uh, each uh, draft pick that we win. So real quick, let's so let's get right on into this, man. I hope everybody's been having a great weekend. Mine's been pretty good, uh, not bad at all. You know, like I had to say, I went to the house of uh, prayer today and uh, prayed for a great week coming up. So I hope and praying for everybody out there as well. So anyway, so as y'all know, we uh, started off with the number 58 pick. The 58 pick was our boy, our main man, Tristan Hill, defensive tackle from UCF. This brother here, I'll tell you what, this guy has quick feet. Uh, he's tough. And he has a lot of heart. This kid here is Bull Durham. I kid you not. This kid here is Bull Durham for real. This dude is a bull on the front line super fast quick feet chasing down starting from the inside the hash mark to the number sidelines uh the numbers on the sideline just like how, how quick this guy is so check him out man he's one that i'm really excited about um also let me say this after the first round draft pick man it, and the picks that they made man really wasn't a lot of uh moves that we all expected but 
which made it that, that much better for the second round. The second round was a big round because there was so much meat left on the bone from the first round into the second round. So I think we was looking to get a safety, but we ended up having the opportunity to do something even better. So we ended up getting a defensive tackle, which we're trying to uh, address that issue as well. You can never have too many defensive linemen. So I think this guy here would definitely be uh, able to contribute here soon. Um, uh, at number 90, we went and picked up uh, Connor McGovern. Uh, he's a guard from Penn State. I think he stands about 6'5", 308. Big, big size kid, pretty good feet. Not sure if he's gonna actually start out with us uh, uh, right off the bat, but I'm sure he'll probably end up contributing sometime sooner than later, which might kinda uh, make the reps a little uh, slim for uh, Connor Williams. So Connor Williams, you got competition coming at you, brother. But this kid here, he's a guard for Penn State, man. And uh, uh, something to look at. And he won the Fiesta Bowl in uh, 2000, what was that, 18, uh, he won. He, uh, like I say, he's 308 pounds, stands at 6'5", uh, honorable mentions and all that good stuff. But So this kid is a good kid. So now we move on right on to uh, round four at number 128. Uh, this kid here, man, this kid here is a, a utility guy. This guy is a running back, receiver, and a kick returner. And like I said, I do have his video up on the information booth on Facebook. So you get a chance, go check this kid out, man. This kid here is bad, B-A-D-D. -D. Now, where we gonna play him? I'm not for sure where we gonna play him, but he, I, I really see him doing some uh, work in the backfield and relieving uh, Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, now, what that says for Jack, uh, 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 Rod Smith, don't know, brother. But all I know is there's going to be some competition coming your way. So, uh, Tony B Pollard, he comes from uh, Memphis. Uh, super fast, good hands, uh, good first step, man. I mean, kid is he's, he's, he's tough. So, um, that was our pick at uh, 128. 158, Michael Jackson, cornerback from Miami. This kid stands about 6'1", 200 pounds. Once again, here we are. Talking about this kid, uh, another uh, tall cornerback. And like we say, we know this is what uh, Chris Richard likes. He likes tall cornerbacks, tall, tall DBs. And this is what he is. This kid here is a lockdown corner. He was a great steal in round five. Uh, once again, due to all the meat on the bone that was out there, we was able to steal this kid. He should have went a little higher, you asked me. But this was a great steal from the kid. Got a lot of swag. He positioned himself really well. He has several in a turnovers interceptions so he's also uh, uh, posted on the on the uh, Facebook page as well so check him out uh, at 165 we get another Jackson kid we got the Jackson Jackson fives up in the house man we got Joe Jackson Joe Jackson's another good steal this kid is a defensive end out of Miami as well so these cats gonna be playing together uh, I'm, I'm looking at Joe Jackson more playing on the strong side, on the tight end side. He's more of a run stopper, but he can pass rush as well. Real good guy that I think that's going to really help uh, the Cowboys. So there's going to be competition at that position as well at the defensive end. Uh, these next three, I hadn't really had a chance to really look at them, but I just wanted to get the, their names out there. Uh, but I'm definitely going to post them on the Facebook page. But uh, I ain't gonna hold y'all long because Golden State and Houston's finna go go down here shortly. So I'm finna go check this this game out. But anyway, so uh, at 2:13 we got Donovan Wilson. He's a safety, so we'll see what's going on with him. Then we move on down to 2:18. Mike uh, uh, Weber. Mike Weber is a running back, so we'll look at him. I have him posted as well. Uh, then we finished it off uh, at 2:41. Kid named Jalen Jelks. Jelks. Uh, defensive end from Oregon. So, um, to say with this draft, I'm gonna give these uh, give these coaches and Cowboys. I'm gonna give them a B minus. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a B minus. Like I said, it wasn't really a bad, wasn't a bad draft. These guys actually did a great job. So, um, I think I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be really good, man. What we've done and trying to implement these guys. So. 
you get a chance, go to our page on Facebook, the information booth, and uh, check these guys. I'm still posting the last three picks on there right now, but uh, I got definitely got the first four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I got the first one, two, three, four. The first four on there right now. I'm going to get ready to put old Joe Jackson on there. Oh, Joe Jackson. Yeah. Anyway, so anyway, man, I'm not going to hold y'all up long, man. Like I say, thank y'all, man, for stopping by and taking the time to hear me talk about our Cowboys. And uh, y'all hear that? That's my grandbaby. That's all she do is cry. She's a, I call her a whiny baby. I don't know if y'all can hear that. But yeah, oh my God, she's spoiled rotten. But yeah, that, yeah, the grandbaby is here. I'm waiting on their mama and daddy to come get our grandbaby because I'm not on duty. Y'all hear that? Just crying. Probably probably for nothing. But her nan is in there, so we'll figure out what's going on. I got the door closed. But anyway, so anyway, thank y'all, man, for stopping by. And uh, uh, look forward to talk with y'all again. Like I say, man, press like and uh, comment and share the video, man. And... Uh, Let's get ready for this thing, man. We're getting ready, so we starting to we starting to turn up a little bit. I, I feel the fire. The, the fire starting to turn up, man. We're getting ready for some football. So anyway, like I always say, don't nothing come to a sleeper but a dream. So let's make it happen, Captain. Y'all have a great day. Holla. <laughs>